Hello everyone. Welcome to LeetCode Daily Challenge. The challenge for today is populating left right pointers in each node. So you will be given a perfect binary tree where all leaves are on the same level and every parent has exactly two children. So generally the binary tree has uh, a following structure. So you have a value, then you have a left, left child and right child. So the next pointer is additionally added here which we need to populate and return. So how do we do that? So what is the next pointer? So next pointer is nothing but the pointer uh, which is next to the current node in, in a given level. So right next to the current node. So if there is no uh, next node right to it, then we should uh, return null. We should add null. So initially anyway all the pointers will be set to null. And a few more uh, pointers here uh, follow up. So you may use we only use constant extra space so we should not use additional space so recursive approach is fine because in recursion you have a recursion stack so you keep using extra space for a recursion stack so we can assume that it is a constant space for, for, for this recursive approach so let's look at the example so we have a perfect mandatory here so if you see every node every node except leave nodes leave nodes are having uh, two children so 1, 2, 3 are having 2, two, two children each and all the leaf, leaf children here are 4, 5, 6, 7 are on the same level and if you see the right side so the next pointers are populated using the uh, node next to it right next, right to it so root node doesn't have anything so it is null so for the node 2, 3 will be the uh, next node for, four, for node 5 it will be 5 and for node 5 it will be 6 for node 6 it will be 7 and for node 7 it will be null and for node 3 it will be null. So this is how we have to populate the next pointer. So the constraints are the number of nodes in the given tree is less than uh, 4096 and the node values are uh, from minus 1000 to 1000. So we are not in, we are anywhere not bothered about the values because we don't use them. Okay so how do we approach this? So in fact if you look at the follow up here they have given a hint here. So they said we can use a recursive, recursive approach here. So I think that should be a good candidate here. So we can see how we can do it. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have a binary tree like this. A tree with root node 3 and we have if, uh, and I have marked all the uh, nodes which are on the left side with the green color. And all the nodes which are right uh, right children or right side are marked with blue color so to populate the uh, next pointer in fact uh, if you see the current binary structure we have for every node we have left child and right child but uh, there is no other relation like we don't have a parent information so if you look at the diagram closely so to populate the next pointer for node 4 so the next pointer is nothing but 7 but how do we reach that so if you know its parent which is 3 so 3 has access to the node 7 but we don't have that relation in our current structure so if we can maintain a parent node for every node then we can easily populate the next node for all the left children so and what about the right children so to populate the next node for right children we need to know its parent and let's say let's take an example of node 6 so to populate the next part of our uh, node 6 which is 9 so we need to know its parent which is 4 then we also need to know its next pointer so next pointer of 4 which is 7 then we can go to left child of 7 so which is nothing but 9 and we can assign 9 to next pointer of 6 so this uh, relation has to be uh, maintained when you reach a particular node so to do all this we need to maintain a parent node for every node in our recursion and then we should also make sure that whenever you reach a node let's say node 6 we should have already processed the next pointer for node 4 its parent so that we should take care so basically we need to process a given node before we go to its children so this is nothing but a pre-order traversal so we need to process the node then go to children so let's see how we can do it so for node 3 which is root for, for the 
root one will be next part will be null then for node 4 we take its parent which is 3 then we take uh, right right children from the parent so next of node 4 will be node 7 then for node 2 again it is a left child so we go to its parent which is 4 then take its right children right child 6 then for node 9 same way we go to its parent 7 then take right child 8 so for left nodes so it is straightforward you go to parent and take right child but what about the right points right uh, nodes so for right node for let's say 6 you go to its parent which is 4 you because you are using pre uh, pre-order traversal you already populated the next point of our uh, its parent so which is 7 so you go to its next point next node so 7 then take left child from there from the next point so which is 9 so you assign that to 9 so this way we can do it so as we discussed we will be using a recursion so for recursion two things are important so the first one is the base condition because you will be calling the same function inside the same function so it will go in a loop so you need to break that loop at some point so the base condition will be when node is null you just return and the second important point is our objective what is the objective of our recursive function so we need to update the next pointers using its parent node so we need to make sure that we maintain the parent node in our recursion so let's go back and write some code let's look at c++ code first so here is the function connect with the root node so if root is not equal to null if it is root is null we just return root if root is not equal to null root of next equal to null in fact we don't have to do this because already the initial pointers are null then we call populate next with the root node which is the current node and its parent so its parent is currently null so we have our recursive function populate next which we will be using again and again so the current node will be node and its parent will be parent so when our node is null you just return so this is our base condition then our objective is to update the next pointer so if parent is not equal to null that we, we have to add this condition because of our root node the parent will be null and we need to check uh, there are two things here one is left node and one is right node so how do we identify whether the current node is a left node or right node so if the node is not equal to parent right that means parent right is nothing but right node so if node is not equal to that that means it is a left node so you take a node of next equal to parent of right so you assign a parent's right to node of next so else if that means you have a right node so for right node how do you populate the next node so you go to parent next and then take its left child so that's that will become the next point of a right node but we just have to add one condition here parent next should be should not be null because there will be like if you take a root node its next is null so we just have to add a check so that we don't crash the program then we have processed the node then we go to its children so populate next with node of left then populate next with node of right so this is nothing but a pre-order traversal so you are processing the node first before its children so this way we will be able to uh, populate all the pointers using recursion so let's execute and check so the output is matching so let's submit and check the details yeah meanwhile let's check java solution so it's almost similar except that, except a few uh, syntax changes we will use same recursive approach here so we have a uh, root of next equal to none then we call again uh, recursion function populate next which I have written utility function then when node is null you return so this is our base condition so if parent not equal to null we have to add this because of our root node we send parent null then if node not equal to parent of right so again it is 
if the node is so this this tells us that this is a left node so its uh, next pointer will be parent right and then parent of next not equal to null node of next equal to parent next of left so this is a next point of a right child right child then you call its uh, children so this is nothing but that means we have processed the node here then we are processing the children here so we pre ordered ourselves so node of left node of left and node of right so if you see this basically it is almost same as c++ except a few syntax changes so we need to explicitly add not equal to null whereas in case of c++ you don't have to do this yeah so let's execute and check yeah so the output is matching so let's submit and check the time complexity So all the test cases have been passed and runtime of 16 milliseconds. Memory usage is also is less. Yes, so the solution has been accepted. Let's check the time complexity for Java as well. So all the test cases have been passed and runtime of 0 milliseconds. So the time complexity here is if you see we are processing every node once. So it's, it will be in the order of O of n and space complexity as we have discussed it is a constant space ignoring a recursion stack and same is the case for C++. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe and provide your feedback. Thank you.